Hey everyone, how you are doing today? The topic for the today's video is going to be about religion and how that can control you, how religion can brainwash you, how religion can control the very thoughts and actions that you have that will not make you able to think for yourself. So let me know what you think of the video. Enjoy it. What happens after we die? Have we been a good person? Are we going to heaven or hell? These are questions we've all asked at one point or another. Religion tries to answer the question of what happens after we die. It provides the answer based on the human interpretation of ancient scripture written by humans in a language that is often not used or understood in today's society. The answers give people a purpose to live so they know what is unknown. Humans are naturally afraid of the unknown, and religion answers these questions and gives a framework on how to live. However, there are serious flaws with this. When humans are lost, desperate for an answer to what they don't know, religion provides an answer they could have been seeking in their life. For some people, they can be greatly beneficial as it can help steer them in a better path instead of the destructive one they were on. However, some individuals become so absorbed and brainwashed by religion that it turns into a cult where the ancient scripture is taken out of context and actually used to discriminate and hate anyone and everyone with opposing views. Those who are religious or spiritual that think their way is the one and only way fall into the trap and become narcissistic and unaccepting of others. They have been fully indoctrinated into the cult of religion that they cannot see past their own selfish desires of converting everyone to their way of thinking, because in their mind, the only way to live is by what they say. They can never be wrong because they are interpreting and preaching the words of what they consider to be God. Some may even have been indoctrinated since a young age as they were raised in religious households where God's rules are the only rules. As human beings, we are curious to know what happens after we die. We are living on this earth, here and now, and we're wondering if there's anything more to our existence. What happened before we were born? What happens after we're born? Is there a heaven or a hell? Is there a God? These are all questions we have asked at one point or another, and we're curious to know because this physical body that, that we have, all of us will die at one point or another. We will all die. So we have to, we have, to have in our mind an idea of what's gonna happen after we die to put our mind at ease because we are afraid of the unknown. We are afraid of the things that we cannot explain, that we don't know. So that is where religion comes into play. Religion is here to answer that unknown for you so you feel more comfortable knowing that something is going to happen after you die. That if you live a certain way, that thing will be, things will be good after you die. But that doesn't necessarily mean that any of the religions are true. It doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't, even is any remote truth to really any religion. There are a variety of different people who, who are atheists, who don't believe anything to people who are very hardcore into their religion and disagree with everyone else who opposes them. Wide array of things. So we have to take that into consideration as well. For those in this mindset, there is hope to get you out of it. The first place to begin is to realize that you are not always right. We dislike being wrong. It makes us feel bad, but the fact remains we will be wrong and interpret things incorrectly from time to time. No one is perfect, not in this human form, even with the power of God behind them. Remember that you are human. Humans are flawed creatures that make mistakes. Accept others for who they are. Just as you have every right to voice your opinions and views, so does your opposition. Everyone has the right to believe whatever they want to. There is no difference between your opposition telling you that you are wrong and you telling them that they are wrong. We are all diverse, so embrace the differences because that's what makes the world unique. Remember, whether you believe in a higher power or not, God does not judge. It's humans that do. Only humans put others down and discriminate against them. Only humans start wars and are violent the way that they are. It's the human's ego that is their biggest weakness. So 
When you can master this, you can see through the illusion and learn to accept what you don't understand unconditionally. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. So religion is a way to indoctrinate you, essentially to make you believe something that may or may not be true. I personally believe that there is truth to every religion to a degree, but I don't think any of us will truly know what happens after we die. I myself have my own beliefs. I'm sure you have your own beliefs and I'm sure these beliefs differ or maybe they are similar to some degree. I know people who are Christian. There are people who are Jewish, people who are Buddhist, people who are atheists, people of all different types of religions. And guess what? That's perfectly fine because at the end of the day, we should set aside our differences and how we believe and we should recognize that we are all human beings that we are living here and now and we're meant to get along and we're meant to build a better world for ourselves so we can live happy, we can live successful, not only just for ourselves, but for the generations to come in the future. Regardless of whatever you believe, know that not a single person, not a single human being knows 100% for sure. So if you know someone or you are that someone who thinks that you are right, everyone else is wrong, take a step back and realize that as a human being, there is no way for you to be 100% right all the time. It's not possible. Okay, so learn to recognize to think outside the box for yourself. Think outside the box so you can see clearly. Don't be clouded by the religion. Just think clearly. Think for yourself and identify with how you truly believe in this situation. Okay? So I'm very curious what you thought of this video. Let me know how this helped you. Let me know what you took away from it. Let me know your religion or people around you's religion if you believe any sort of religion. Curious to know. You all have a fantastic day and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.